Now here, I'm just uh, welding away on, I believe, the second or third pass, and I'm doing this to demonstrate the push angle I'm using, which isn't really any push angle at all, maybe a very slight one. And the reason for that is because if you're really running a steep push angle and shoving metal up in there, it's going to be kind of indirect and just kind of go everywhere. There's a good chance the electrode can fingernail and proceed to burn kind of weird. And if you're doing the opposite thing, and you've got the electrode angled down towards the puddle, then you're going to be working to you know, greatly exaggerate the effect of gravity and metal's just gonna be kind of rolling down and going places you don't want it to go. This is what we're left with and I was using a little bit of a side-to-side -side motion there as you can see. Now here I'm working on the second pass as you can see and essentially what I'm trying for is half to two-thirds overlap over that first pass so I'm tying into the bead on the left and of course the right hand plate on the right side of the joint and I'm using the same little nervous twitch. I'm just trying to stack the second bead up there right up against the first. I want everything to tie in and be nice and smooth and nice and flat and again you know you really just have to shove that electrode in there and uh, just kind of run it up there. You know, using the fundamentals of overlap and everything we've talked to so far, you can just continue this out as far as you need to. As you can see, I just put on a fourth, fifth, and sixth pass here. And this is what we're left with. It's just the same fundamentals. It's the same bead techniques. It's the same overlap techniques. It's the same angles. I really hope this video has helped you out. I'd really like to thank you guys for watching it. And as always, have fun and stay safe.